Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good morning and happy start to July, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy. Much like yesterday, it's going to be very comfortable and a very nice day out there. High temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s. Clouds are going to build in, though, from west to east, so not going to be as sunny as it was yesterday. Humidity, though, is going to stay on the lower end. Winds are going to pick up out of the southeast and be fairly strong with gusts up to 30 at times. Now, with that southeasterly wind, eventually our moisture is going to jump up into the low 70s. But this evening won't be too bad in the mid 50s. After Tuesday's peak there, Wednesday and Thursday still going to be on the muggy side in the mid to upper 60s. And Friday, a little bit of relief there with dew points sitting right there in the low 60s. With that ample moisture, we're not going to see a severe storm chance quite yet, at least not tonight, but some stronger storms could be possible on our western edge. That level two risk will stay off to our west. And again, a lot of this, I think we'll just see moderate to heavy rainfall, maybe some small hail and gusty winds. But generally speaking, I think the severe criteria, or I should say the storms, will stay below severe criteria. That moisture will continue to build and that will give us a chance of showers and storms that could be strong severe on Tuesday during the day tomorrow, mainly in our central and southern areas there and our level three risk for our far southern areas in Keokuk and Washington County. With these storms, we're gonna have some moderate to heavy rainfall with it, so it could cause some localized flash flooding. In terms of the severe risk, I think initially as storms develop, they'll have a large hail risk, kind of more that cellular type of storm. And then as it becomes more organized, we'll develop more into a wind threat. Tornadoes could have a few, maybe some brief spin up tornadoes, not expecting a tornado outbreak per se, but could see some spin up tornadoes there. And if we do see severe storms, the timing tomorrow afternoon and evening would be about 3 p.m. to about 10 p.m. for us in eastern Iowa. So let's map out that storm chance here together. We'll jump ahead to noon at a future track for today, and we'll see a lot of cloud cover this afternoon and maybe some very light showers this evening but not expect anything too heavy, at least not until at least after midnight. Now you can see midnight again on that western edge, maybe some stronger storms with that and could see some heavy rainfall on and off throughout the night hours tonight through the day tomorrow. So it could be a wet morning commute for you as you walk out the door Tuesday morning. Then as we get into the afternoon hours, this is where we're going to kind of wait and see and what happens. If we continue to see showers and storms, especially in our northern and central areas, that could put a damper on our, any severe chances. We'll still see storms, I think, but our severe chances will be lower. If we see any clearing during the afternoon, a little bit of sunshine, that'll refuel the atmosphere and kind of get it ready for a potential round two of storms that that could be strong to severe. So here it is, five o'clock. You're starting to see those storms now enter our area, the stronger severe storms, I should say, and you can see a lot of heavy rain with it as well as maybe some large hail and damaging wind gusts. Seven o'clock continues to move through the area here. By 10 o'clock, the rain, or I should say the severe chance will be done. Maybe some rain left over, but for sure by midnight, I think we'll have the rain leave the area. Then it'll be a quiet day for us on Wednesday. But that heavy rain is going to be pretty widespread, and I think at least an inch in many areas, up to maybe two and a half, close to three inches in some spots. So we're going to see not only that severe risk, but moderate to heavy rainfall. So localized flash flooding could be a problem as well as the fact that, again, the Mississippi River is undergoing flooding right now. And while I don't think, again, we're going to have major massive flooding concerns at least added on to it, it could at least slow down maybe the crest, maybe rise a little bit more, also could make it so that it doesn't fall as quickly as previously thought. So again, with more rain, of course, that causes more problems along the Mississippi. Overall for tonight, so kind of recapping things here, low temperatures in the low to mid 60s, showers and storms mainly after midnight tonight, Winds stay strong out of the southeast. Then during the day tomorrow, it's just going to depend for the high temperatures, at least where the storms line up. Could be a little bit cooler in our northern and central areas if those storms continue. Otherwise, again, generally speaking, upper 70s, low 80s to the north, low to mid 80s in the south. No matter where you are, it's going to be humid. Southerly wind at 10 to 15 with gusts up to 25. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Wednesday, we'll take a break from the rain. We'll be a little bit on the muggy side, but we'll be not too hot, at least with temperatures in the mid 80s. Fourth of July, especially during the afternoon and evening, I think we could see some showers and storms. So I know not great timing there for any firework celebrations. Isolated showers continue into Friday. And then for the upcoming weekend, doesn't look too bad. Pretty seasonal high temperatures, maybe a storm chance there on Sunday. And as we head into the next week of July, again, staying seasonal with on and off storm chances.